Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, your name Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shahu, the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is what comforts and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity and peace and salutations to the elect. Keep it simple. People make it seem so hard just to keep it simple. When the Lord ultimately gave us the guidelines on what we should be doing, especially in these times, especially during our time of captivity. Because it's not time for us to be partying and living lavish lifestyles. We're supposed to be doing the work for the Lord. And that's keeping it simple. But like I said, in this world, a lot of people want to do too much. Because ultimately, the ones that are in rulership do too much. So like the scriptures say, Right. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 2 it reads Ecclesiastes chapter 10 or Sirach chapter 10 and verse 2 it reads as the judge of the people is himself so are so are his officers and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell there an unwise king destroyed his people but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city should be inhabited and we understand and it's truth that our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge And it's more than ever, because like the scriptures say, an unwise king will destroy his people. And that unwise king is who's in rulership. Job 9 and 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And that's the so-called white man who forefathers Esau Edom. He is an unwise king. So majority of our people are going to be unwise and follow after their ways. That's why it's good that the Lord has left a remnant out of the nation of Israel, which are his people, that's going to keep it simple and turn back. Basically, I'm going to get it. Like it says in James, the first chapter. They're going to keep it simple. James 1 and 21, it reads, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Basically the extra things, the things that's not pertaining to keeping it simple and keeping our eyes single on the, the, the reward at hand, which is the kingdom of heaven. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Ultimately, the words that we preach, starting from our elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to the men that teach the same doctrine, the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, the 100% truth for salvation. Well, like it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 29, it reads, Lo, this only have I found that God have made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. And you can see that, especially in this world. They want to change a man into a woman, a woman into a man. They want to allow transgenders to be able to have babies. They try to push all manner of wickedness upon the people.
causing all types of chaos. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place. I ran across a guy today. He said he was a researcher of rats or mice. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, what, what are you trying to research about the mice? He was like, it's lots of things to know about mice. But then I asked him, I was like, why do they use mice as far as and for, you know, like testing certain things all the time? Like, why do they choose the mice? He said, ultimately, I mean, I kind of knew it was common sense. He was like, because, because mice are, you know, I guess in a way he's saying they're insignificant and cheaper to ultimately used to do test on. But in my mind, I'm like, why are they doing so many tests on mice trying to test, basically seek out many adventures, like the scriptures say, trying to figure out certain ways to do this and how, how drugs react to this, how does mice take this drug compared to this drug, etc., so that they can use it amongst the people. Why are they doing that? When the Lord already gave the things that we're supposed to use in order to sustain ourselves, as far as when you get sick, I'm gonna grab it. Sirach. Well, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38. And verse 4 reads The Lord have created medicines out of the earth. And he that is wise will not abhor them. So if you're trying to find out, do research on how to cure certain things, you should be studying the herbs for the most part, learning what's, what's best that a person should take in order to be able to come back to health. Not try to find a, or make a chemical, seek out many inventions on how to add to the natural herbs in order to make a profit or for the most part we know they they make these things because they're trying to they try to find ways in order to do away with the lord's people which are the israelites which are the so-called negroes latinos native americans they try to create all types of things and say that they're trying to help us but ultimately, they're trying to destroy us. But like I said, the Lord has left a, rem a remnant out of the nation of Israel to turn back. And ultimately, like I said in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So we understand what these devils are trying to do. We understand that, it's, that the things that the Lord tell us is plain and simple. But the Lord doesn't want everyone to receive it, so they're gonna gonna continue to not keep it simple and seek out many inventions. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. Verse 24 it reads, As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. For the good are good things created for, from the beginning, so evil things for the sinners. So the only ones that's going to be ignorant to these devices of Satan, which we know Satan, the ones on the bed of Satan is, is the flesh, is the so-called white man. And that even includes amongst this truth, the ones in Israel that know that they're Israelites, the ones that's supposed to be feeding the Lord's flock. Some of these camps, you know, that's teaching false doctrines, especially some of the major camps like IUIC, Sakari. They're not feeding our people with the 100% truth. The things they need for salvation, they're not keeping it simple. Second Corinthians chapter 11. And verse one, 2, I'm going to start at verse 2. It reads, For I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may pre present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shah Mashiach. 
And we supposed to be presenting ourselves as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, not mixed and mingled with all these other false doctrines and following after all these false gods. Verse three, but I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Mashiach Yahushua. Because when Yahweh Shah came on the scene, he came on the scene to do the bidding of his father. And ultimately, that was it. He didn't come to try to be famous. Or ultimately, he didn't come trying to make a name for himself. But through the works that he was doing through the spirit and power of his father, Yahweh, his name was magnified. And us keeping it simple in these times, preaching this word in simplicity, in truth and sincerity of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. The people that don't believe on, the, on what we're speaking, eventually they're going to see it because the Lord is going to start showing his power more and more and more. And we can see it based on how the world is being visited by the Lord. All of these plagues, pestilence, judgment going forth all over the world that's of the Lord just like we tell our people that the Lord has clearly stated that we're not supposed to follow out of the ways of the heathen but they continue to do so because Ultimately, they don't want to keep it simple. They want to add more to what the Lord has already given to us. And the scriptures already tell us that the Lord has gave us laws and his laws, statutes, and commandments are not grievous. Only us in this truth that truly believe on the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, are going to wholeheartedly believe that. But everybody else is, for the most part, is in the flesh. And they want to find ways to please their flesh. When that's not the time. Because if they can't have discipline right now, before all hell breaks loose, what's going to happen when these devils push and basically make mandatory the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip? They're going to want to please their flesh and take it because a lot of people there, they can't they can't live a simple life. They want to have the, the latest technology. So when they say you can do certain things with it, of course, that's going to trigger some people to buy it. And the thing that's going to really get a lot of people is when they say you can't buy or sell unless you have it. A lot of people aren't going to keep it simple and have the faith that Yahweh Shem Yahushua will be able to deliver you no matter what the situation is. So they're going to want to add extra and do a little bit more extra, not knowing that all we need is Yahweh Shem Yahushua to sustain us. And they're going to mess around and take it and ultimately be destroyed, which because it's going to lead to their destruction, as the scriptures say. In Revelation, the 14th chapter, starting in the ninth verse, they're going to receive the wrath of the Lord that's poured out without mixture. But like I said, the point of this lesson is that we got to keep it simple. We're not, we're not here to live this glorious, lavish lifestyle. The scriptures say, rise and depart, for this is not our rest. We're supposed to be ultimately praying that the Lord allow us to receive our daily bread to get to the day through the day while perilous times are coming and while those perilous times are coming that the Lord have us covered because we understand that ultimately only the elect out of the nation of Israel which consists is the one third which consists of a portion of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and the Israelite foreigners that may look like heathen, but are not heathen because their father's seed line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors 
of the 12 tribes of Israel that's written in my bio those are the only ones that's going to be covered by the blood of the lamb when all hell breaks loose and the ones that's going to have the spirit to strive for the truth unto death through the spirit that's all I got Shalom